tested Dianos and did all these images with this application. Is it worth it? Is it not? I didn't know and it is a new application that comes directly linked with Revit, so I thought it was worth the shot to see how it worked. This doesn't have a freemium version, so you cannot test it before purchasing. So let me spend my money so that you don't have to. So in order to get this application, you have to go to genos.ai and then you can download the connector directly from Autodesk and as you connect it, you have the login in your Revit and you can use it with Capture and also with Capture Regions. Now when you press that, you can go to either do an exterior, interior and if you've been using artificial intelligence software, you will see this is very familiar to all of them because you have here like the part when you can write your AI prompt and you also have several different styles which you can choose from and here I'm giving it the very same exam I gave to other artificial intelligences which is a minimalist concrete home with black metal joinery and all that. I used this exact same prompt when I did the prompt AI video so that I can really check out whether this artificial intelligence do compare and whether one is better than the other. So here, these are the first tests that I ran with the very same model I use with other artificial intelligences. Now, here I realized at my first shot that the material I chose in Revit was really important, so I went ahead and changed the materials and sent it back into Janus. Because if I did it like that, my first shots were all wooden like, even if in the description I included concrete. So here I decided to include a region and I was testing everything out and the results came slightly better. Okay, you can see here that the results were coming a little bit different. However, I must warn you, if you are used to AI being super fast, this is not the case, okay? This application goes a lot slower than from AI or Veras. And it took its time, but after taking its time, the results, the first results for external images were quite good. You can see here that I have my concrete home, the surroundings look great for the exterior and everything seemed to be going smoothly. So for this first approach, exterior images, I think that Janus AI does compete with other options such as Prom AI, Veras, D5. However, I think that from AI still gets the most beautiful images. I'm leaving you a link here if you don't know what I'm talking about. Another feature that you may find familiar is the one about Refine. Now Refine, Refine's use is to get better image quality. So I had to test that obviously, and I did. It does take a lot as well, but you can see slightly better results with it. And I think this feature is really worth the money. So you can see how it works here. Now, another feature that I was really eager to see in use was the elevations part. I wanted to see where the elevations were worth the money because there is a lot of difficulty when you try to render an elevation in some artificial intelligence platforms. So I went ahead and just sent this elevation to my Janus AI. And in order to keep it simple, I introduced the exact same from in everything. Also, this is something that this application does have that others don't, is that you can choose from several different materials and indicate what, what you want on the floors, walls, uh, the weather, and all that. So, so the elevations were really impressive. I really loved the results. And this one feature may make Genus worth your money because in other applications, they try to deform the elevations and they aren't really so good because it's like, it's like these artificial intelligences don't, don't get the shots that we architects want. So this one really stood out for me. Okay, one that was uh, quite a big failure because I tested this just this, mon this morning was the aerial view. Whereas the elevation was like 
beautiful the are the aerial view was awful it was like a desert island like i couldn't get anything around it to be shown properly because i think that the aerial view is still like one huge risk for many artificial intelligences and this was not an exception so when i introduced the prompt and i press create it was so ugly the results were quite bad and i think that it's really worth it if you're working with this artificial intelligence to at least model some of the environment because if not you will get something like this now then i tried and i went ahead and tried for indoors but i didn't went easy with it obviously so this is a hard perspective that i got from my Revit model, but I had tested it before with other artificial intelligences. With Prome AI it went beautiful and however here it was like the, the first results weren't so good. So when I tested this out I got these results. This was the first result, it didn't even have a roof and after this first result they improved slightly but they weren't at all how I, how I described it. I was really confused here for a minute, only before, only before realizing that I had to go ahead and play with regions. Now regions, some of you may find them familiar if you've been rendering with other software, more traditional softwares. For instance, when once upon a time I used to work with Rhinoceros and get the images with different regions, then we sent it into Photoshop and at Photoshop we did a lot of work with those regions and this is one of Genus's most important features. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it worked for me. So regions are really areas that you can differentiate from the materials. You can either create a region automatically from your reference image or as I did in this case if you're a Revit expert you can directly create the regions in your Revit model and after that work with them with Janus. So you've got two options here in order to do your regions. One is to directly click create regions and that will automatically create the regions from your image. Now this is not as good as getting them directly from your model because they are getting the regions only from the colors of your image so that is quite limited. However, if you go ahead and create the regions from the Revit model, now that's another different thing. So in order to do that, you have to go to capture regions in your Revit model. And this way you will get an image with the regions depending on the materials that you had created in your Revit. So now you have all your regions with the different materials. I'm going to go ahead and copy the description so that it is exactly the same for everything. And I'm going to go straight to the interior. Now, as you can see right there on the left side, I have the materials that came from my Revit model. So you really have to be careful when deciding on which materials come from the, your Revit model, because some of them, I probably you wouldn't want them, but you have to be really careful with them as opposed to working with other artificial intelligences that aren't really going to take the materials into account. So consider that perhaps you don't want an undefined wall in your Revit model from now on if you are going to be working with this artificial intelligence. Once you have that, you can go ahead and change your regions like materials that you are going to be using as mini prompts. So when you select one material from Revit and you change it to light concrete walls, that means that's going to work as a mini prompt and it's going to render with that material. So it's going to render that region with that material. And this is going to keep your render all professional. And if you decide to go ahead and include many images, you're going to have them all looking similar, which is really good because consistency is key when working with artificial intelligence. So you can see that here, for instance, I have a default wall. It shouldn't have been there, but it happens sometimes when working. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to like concrete walls in order to have everything working on the same way and to have a model that makes sense. And after you do that, you just have to decide the number of outputs 
and choose create. And when you do that, it's going to take a while. This artificial intelligence is not as fast as others. And that really surprised me because I'm used to Veras, I'm used to D5, I'm used to Prom AI. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave you a video with all of them right there. But yes, I'm used to working with artificial intelligences as meaning speed. And this wasn't the same, but you can see that I started to get good results when working with the reuse option here. This was a second option, which also looked kind of nice. However, it was skipping the glass surfaces, for instance, they were too transparent, like they didn't even seem to be existing. And obviously the sofa is missing from every image. From the hell of it, I couldn't get a sofa on the images, which was kind of frustrating. And as regions had gone quite well with the interior, I decided to go ahead and test it with the aerial view, which I could kind of see where it was heading because aerial views aren't easy for any artificial intelligences. And these ones with a strange roof even more so. So I really wanted to test out the artificial intelligence here and see whether it worked better with Revit that, than other platforms I have tested. And here I'm introducing everything I'm going on and introducing everything here in regions. Because by this point, I was so sure this was going to work perfectly. And the disaster happened. Disaster stuck. And I got this ugliest as, I don't know, ugliest as Adobe Elf images. Because honestly, each and every one of these are terrible. You, you didn't even have a surrounding area on them. And I think that if you're going to use this artificial intelligence, it is worth it to model the exterior of it. Because if not, you're going to get results like this. So all in all, is Janus worth your money? Well, on the pro side, you have your regions, which is something really different from other options. You have the refine option, which is included with your subscription, and it's slightly lower priced than other options. That's a pro. But the drawbacks are big here. It is really slow, slower than most of the artificial intelligence I've worked with. It doesn't give you such beautiful results. For instance, I think that Prom AI and Veras are giving way more beautiful results nowadays. And finally, I couldn't for the life of me get any furniture inside the image. Can it be done? I'm sure it can be done. However, it's not very intuitive to work with. So considering the options, now I'm asking you a question. Are you going to purchase this artificial intelligence or not? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you'll probably enjoy watching this one. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye bye.